It's the one with the planes and stuff. You know, war. Thunder. War. war. And thunder, yeah. Yeah, this isn't actually a game where you play as Thor. This is a game where you fly planes. Um, which I'm more than fine with because I am a massive nerd for this stuff. I love military history. I love flight sims. Um, no, I don't have a girlfriend. Um, yeah, this this is a cracking game. Um, so it, is it a proper sim then? It can. It can, mm, it's no. Like, <laughs> there are there are three difficulty levels of yeah. kind of control. So you've got the super basic arcade stuff, which is what we just saw. Yeah. They're the kind of halfway point, and then you can go simulator style. It's still not like Microsoft Flight Sim right. levels. It's it's still a bit more accessible than that. But if you if you stick it up to to sim difficulty, it's it's quite realistic, um, and it certainly takes a bit of time to to get to grips with. Um, but God, yeah, I, I love it. It's great. It's um, it's free to play, so. Can't argue with that. No, I mean, obviously, it, it suffers from all those same free-to-play tropes. So, you know, you kind of have to research new things and it takes bloody ages. But if you pay a little bit of money, then the research is done a lot quicker, you know. Hmm. Um, but it doesn't seem to give an advantage to people who pay because the things you can buy are more kind of cosmetic things. Right. Like, you can get special planes that, that uh, you can't get for free, for example, but they're not better they just look different right and i'm fine with that you know that i think that's the best use of free to play you know um give people a fancy sticker or something mm -hmm. but as long as that sticker doesn't make them invincible <laughs> uh yeah and it's crazy in depth as well like, if you're a nerd for I this saw you stuff, messing around the menus yeah earlier, yeah uh, like, there's so many planes and like every country in the war every plane ever made uh there's a bunch of single player missions that are actual world war ii skirmishes uh that you can do most people will just be playing online because it's fun to shoot other people down. Uh, it's just a cracking game. Um, you probably won't like it as much if you don't like planes, but then why are you playing a game about planes? It's a bloody good question. That yeah. Way.